Let's talk about it uh, with Dan Patrick now. Dan's daily radio show will start streaming exclusively on Peacock later this month. More on that in just a moment. Dan, always good to see you, brother. Thanks for your time. So we, we've had these meetings of all the major conferences over the past few days. Last night, there was this, this meeting, uh, the, the, the Southeastern Conference, the mighty SEC. If you were a betting man, how would you bet that this all plays out here over the next few days, starting today, perhaps? I think you're going to see a delay, Craig. I think you're going to see that in the Big Ten. I, I was told by a source last night they're going to try to delay this now. I think what happened is the information I got was not supposed to come out until today. And I think yesterday morning when we broke the story, all of a sudden the Big Ten and the Pac-12 started to get some pushback. I heard from the SEC. They said they're playing. The ACC, they said they were going to play. Big 12 was on the fence a little bit. Oklahoma and Texas were planning on playing. The other schools were not. I would say it's the wild, wild west, but this is all over the country. I mean, it's the wild, wild southwest, the <laughs> wild, wild midwest. So I think it's, it's almost hour by hour of what is going to happen here. But the latest I have is the Big Ten is trying to delay and maybe not cancel. And one thing I want to clarify what I said yesterday, 12 to 2, the presidents voted to cancel the season in the Big Ten. They didn't say that they were canceling. They voted to cancel. And that's why I even said it yesterday. This may change by Tuesday morning. And here we are. It may change by Tuesday afternoon. But Dan, if, if some of these schools decide to cancel their season, even if the conference, even if the conference decides to go ahead, you've got certain schools that are canceling, you've got certain schools that are playing, certain conferences may, may play, certain conferences may not. What's the likelihood that, that we have a, a season where you've got ACC teams playing SEC teams playing Pac-12, and you've got this sort of super conference as a result. Any chance of that? I don't think we have the time to do that. Plus, also understand, Nebraska says they want to play football. Well, the Big Ten owns the rights to Nebraska football. If Nebraska, you just can't go rogue here. Uh, Ohio State's talked about maybe that they're going to try to play. Uh, from what I was told by my source yesterday, the SEC is sort of open for business saying, who wants to come in and play football with us? And I think you're going to have a couple of outliers who are going to try to push that. But what do you do if you're the Big Ten and Nebraska says, hey, the heck with you. We don't care about what your guidelines are. We're going on our own. Do you keep Nebraska in the Big Ten? Do you want to fight something like that? I, I just think that this is... It's unchartered territory for a variety of reasons. We have a lot of adults in the room, but I don't know if we have grown-ups. And you have the players, the athletic directors, and the coaches over here, and the presidents over here. And the reason why it got to this point, the 11th hour, was we weren't hearing from the presidents. Every coach, every player, every athletic director said, we're playing football. We didn't hear from the presidents. Then the presidents get in a room and they all of a sudden they vote and they go, uh, what are we doing playing football here? <laughs> yeah. Dan, Savannah from New York calling. How do we get to calling. that point? Yeah, I know. For, long time listener, first time caller to the show, Dan. <laughs> yeah. um, no, but I, I do ha I look at this and I wonder about the NFL. NBA seems to so far have it right with this whole bubble idea, NHL doing that too. What does this mean or portend for the NFL? Well, the NFL has players who, you know, they've signed away their rights for, you know, a collective bargaining agreement. So they, they, you know, the liability is the big issue with college football, from what I was told. Liability is what these presidents are so afraid of. With the NFL, the players could opt out if they didn't want to play during the pandemic. You have, you know, a union that represents you. I think the NFL will start on time. I don't know if they'll finish on time. But I, they're going to be basically creating their own little bubbles in each city. So the Saints will have a hotel. Uh, the Buccaneers will have a hotel. That'll be their bubble. The testing measures are incredible with the NFL. Yeah. They have the money. And I think that's another key issue. You know, Mountain West, the Mid-American Conference, they don't have the money for the testing. The Power Five conference, uh, conference schools do have the money for testing. Mm -hmm. And you can make a case those athletes will be safer on campus. They're going to stay on campus if there's no football. They're going to continue to work out. They're going to have testing every single day. It's the other schools that didn't have the testing that run the real risk. But I think the NFL is going to start on time. Dan Patrick. Dan, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank and, you, Dan. Uh, by the way, ladies and thank gentlemen, you, you, can, uh, you can look out for the Dan Patrick Show streaming daily on Peacock from our parent company, NBC Universal. That's going to start on August 24th.